This is an instructional video on using the Grandstream Wave soft phone app on the iPhone. The first step will be to download the app from the iTunes App Store. Once you have that completed, you'll get an icon on your screen called GS Wave. To open the app, simply click the icon and the app will load. To program your account into the GS Wave app, simply tap on the settings icon at the bottom right of the screen, which says settings, and you'll see settings at the top of the screen. From there, you'll tap on the account settings option at the top, and you'll get a blank screen with account settings. So to program your phone, you'll click on the plus sign, and then go to SIP account. And then from there, you'll program in your account name, SIP server, user ID, authentication ID, and password. Your account settings should look similar to our example, with the account name being your name, the SIP server being sip.anvio.com, your user ID and authentication ID, which are the same, and we will supply that to you, along with your password. Once that's done, simply check the blue check mark at the top right corner of the screen and your account will be set to be activated and should be available for use shortly thereafter. Before your account is ready for use, we do have to go back in and modify one or two settings. So we go into your account and we go down to DNS mode where it will say A record. We want to change that A record to SRV. We simply tick that off, go back, and it's now set to SRV. You'll be able to tell that your account is ready for use on the account settings main screen as your account will have a green dot next to your account name. If you see a red dot that means something is not configured properly and you would need to go back into the account settings and verify the settings. So now we're ready to actually test the app and make sure that it can receive calls. So to do that from one of our other phones, we will now dial the phone and test to see that it rings. And sure enough, we hear the phone ringing. We tap on the app and it shows that there's an incoming call. So we'll now hit answer. And the first time you use the app, it's going to ask you if it's okay for the phone to access the microphone. So for the other party to hear you, you'll need to tap OK. And once that's done, you can see now we are connected to our other phone. To end the call, simply tap the red end button at the bottom of the screen. If you want to use the call in speaker mode, you can tap speaker. You can also put the call on hold. Or you can simply talk normally like you usually do and we end the call. So in our final demonstration, we will now make a test call. In this example, we're just going to call one of our office extensions just to make sure that it rings. So we dial the extension and hit the green dial button at the bottom of the screen.